Hello everyone, welcome to another Flappy Bird lesson. So, so far in the program, you would have realized that we've got the obstacles coming towards us. However, right now they're all the same height. So the next step is to randomize their heights. So let's go down to where we create them. And we've set their top position to 50. Okay, so that's why they're always 50 pixels from the top of the screen. So the distance from here to here, the vertical distance is about 50 pixels. So let's randomize that. So, but we want the minimum to be about 50, right? Because from the top, if you imagine our thing's got to jump through it. So the minimal distance from the top, actually let's make that about uh, maybe let's say 60. So if we say 60, does that give us enough distance to jump over them? Not really, let's make it 70 then. Okay, so 70, that gives us just about enough distance to jump over it. So that should be fine. And then we want to plus a random number. Now if you have a look at the height of our screen, so if you click on the window and then you go down to the properties, you'll see that the size of our window, the height is about 406. Okay, so if we plus a random number, so R and D, that gives us a, a, a random number. And let's give it um, times, let's say 300. Now what this does is it'll give us a random number Originally, the random function gives us a random number between 0 and 1. So if you times it by 300, it'll be between 0 and 300. Okay, so if you do that, if you press start debugging, you'll see that it now comes up at different positions. Okay, but we want it to generate a random number every single time the pipe hits the left hand side okay otherwise these two pipes will be the same height forever so we need the same code from here if you copy that and so you copy this whole line and paste it over here but change the temp to pipe bracket i and this should make sure that every time the pipe hits the end of the screen it'll come back with a new height okay so you can see here it's the it's a different height every time Uh, pretty soon it'll be a different one. Yep, so it's different height every single time. Um, but the problem is, if you play this game again, you will see that the same sequence repeats. We all start off with a pipe about this tall, and then it increases, and then it decreases, and then it increases again. So I'll show you, if you play it again, see? starts with the same height increases so in order to stop that from happening we need to run a function at the beginning at the top of this we're gonna run a function called um, randomize actually let's just run it when the form loads so let's run randomize and if we run that function hopefully every time when we play this game right it's not as predictable all right so the random numbers are why does it start with that
It's starting with that because the create part, this is run before that. So I need this to be the first function that is called when the form loads. Okay, so you can see we're starting with a different height every single time now. Okay, starting with a different pipe height at the beginning of the program. Okay, so hopefully now we're starting to get some randomness into our randomness into our game. And we're gonna continue from that next lesson. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.